His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace the Saudi Foreign Affairs Minister, His Highness Prince Faisal bin Farhan bin Abdullah Al Saud. His Highness conveyed to His Majesty the King the greetings and appreciation of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and the Saudi Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and their wishes of prosperity and growth to Bahrain. His Majesty welcomed the minister and asked him to convey his greetings to the custodian of the two holy mosques and to the Saudi crown prince and his wishes of abundant health and happiness to King Salman and of development and prosperity to the Saudi people. He expressed thanks and appreciation for their noble sentiments and condolences on the fallen servicemen. His Majesty expressed pride at the deep-rooted fraternal relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, affirming Bahrain's keenness in continuing to develop these relations to achieve joint aspirations for further growth and prosperity in the two countries. His Majesty noted the sincere efforts of the Saudi-Bahraini Coordination Council, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Saudi Crown Prince and Prime Minister to develop fraternal relations and bolster cooperation to serve the interests of the two countries. His Majesty the King hailed Saudi Arabia's role, led by the custodian of the two holy mosques and serving Gulf, Arab and Islamic causes. For his part, the Saudi Foreign Affairs Minister expressed thanks and appreciation for the warm welcome and generous hospitality and pride in the Kingdom's efforts to bolster Saudi-Bahraini relations. The meeting was attended by the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work in youth affairs, National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander, Lieutenant General, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Edward at Sakhir Palace. His Majesty welcomed Prince Edward who conveyed to His Majesty the greetings of His Majesty King Charles III of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland and his wishes of further progress and prosperity for Bahrain and its people. His Majesty requested Prince Edward to convey his greetings to King Charles III and wished him good health and happiness. His Majesty praised the close and distinguished historical relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom, extending for many years of cooperation and joint coordination in various fields, stressing the mutual keenness to develop them in a way that serves a common goals and interests. His Majesty expressed his appreciation and pride in the role of His Majesty King Charles III in consolidating prosperous cooperation and strong ties with Bahrain in order to benefit the two countries and their peoples. His Royal Highness Prince Edward offered His Majesty his sincere condolences and sympathy for the murders of the sacred duty. He also expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for the warm reception, appreciating His Majesty's pioneering role and efforts to strengthen and develop Bahrain. British relations. The meeting was attended by the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work in youth affairs, National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander, Lieutenant General, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa.
On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the credentials of 18 newly appointed ambassadors to the Kingdom of Bahrain during a ceremony held at Sakhir Palace. The newly appointed ambassadors were received by the Chief of Royal Protocol. His Royal Highness received the credentials of the Ambassador of North Macedonia. Safiya Jumhuriyat Uganda. The Ambassador of Uganda. Safiya Jumhuriyat Chile. The Ambassador of Chile. Safir Jumhuriyat Romania. The Ambassador of Romania. Safir Ukraine. The Ambassador of Ukraine. Safir Jumhuriyat Malawi. The Ambassador of Malawi. Safir Mamlakat Lositto. The Ambassador of Lesotho.
سفير جمهورية غواتيمالا The Ambassador of Guatemala Sefir Cumhuriyet Slovenia The Ambassador of Slovenia Sefir Cumhuriyet Biro the ambassador of Peru. Sefir Jumuriyat Venezuela al Bolivaria. The ambassador of Venezuela. Sefir Jumhuriyat Mali The Ambassador of Mali Sefir Jumhuriyat Laos al Demokratiya al The Ambassador of the Laos Sefir Jumhuriyet al Portugal. The Ambassador of Portugal. Sefir Jumhuriyet Burundi. The Ambassador of Burundi. Sefir Mamlaka Tonga. The Ambassador of Tonga. Sefir Jumuriyat Nicaragua. The Ambassador of Nicaragua. Safir Mamlakat Cambodia. The Ambassador of Cambodia. During the ceremony, His Royal Highness extended to the ambassadors His Majesty's greetings to their heads of state and His Majesty's best wishes for success in their diplomatic duties to strengthen cooperation between the Kingdom and their ambassadors' respective countries. The ambassadors extended to His Majesty their heads of state's greetings, wishing the Kingdom of Bahrain and its people further progress and prosperity, while commending long-standing bilateral relations at all levels. His Royal Highness further conveyed his own greetings to the ambassador's heads of state. He commended the strength of the bilateral relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and their respective countries, which are witnessing further progress and prosperity at all levels, wishing them success in performing their diplomatic duties to achieve mutual aspirations. 
His Royal Highness emphasized the Kingdom's commitment to continue building on what has been achieved by furthering bilateral relations in cooperation to benefit all. The ceremony was attended by the representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work in youth affairs, national security advisor and Royal Guard commander, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Education Charitable Trust, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Royal Court Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Chief of Royal Protocol Major General Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Fadala, and the Under Secretary for Political Affairs at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Saudi Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Highness Prince Faisal bin Farhan bin Abdullah Al Saud at Rifa Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the long standing relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, which have been strengthened thanks to the efforts of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted Bahrain's commitment to strengthening relations to further joint development and prosperity. He also commended the ongoing efforts made by His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud in furthering the Bahraini-Saudi partnerships. 
For his part, His Highness Prince Faisal conveyed to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince greetings of the custodian of the two holy mosques and His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince and the sincere wishes for the Kingdom of Bahrain and its people. In return, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister greeted the custodian of the two holy mosques and His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman, wishing Saudi Arabia and its people continued progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness thanked the Saudi leadership for their condolences regarding the kingdom's fallen servicemen, who honorably took a part in the Saudi-led Arab coalition forces at the southern border of Saudi Arabia. The Crown Prince highlighted Saudi Arabia's influential role in championing the causes of GCC Arab and Islamic nations. His Royal then Highness then hosted a luncheon in honor of His Highness Prince Faisal bin Farhan's visit to the kingdom. For his part, His Highness Prince Faisal bin Farhan extended his gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness, commending the Crown Prince's role in strengthening bilateral relations and cooperation across various fields. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Edward at Glebia Palace. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince welcomed the Duke of Edinburgh and the accompanying delegation to the Kingdom of Bahrain, during which His Royal Highness highlighted the depth of Bahrain-UK ties, which are based on a long-standing history of cooperation and coordination in line with the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness Prince Salman emphasized Bahrain's commitment to furthering the Bahrain-UK partnership, which continues to expand joint development to benefit both countries and their people. Regional and international issues of common interest were also discussed. The Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Education Dr. Mohammed bin Mubarak Juma also attended the meeting. Meanwhile, in a statement to Bahrain International Television, the British Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Mr. Alstair Long, affirmed the historic and outstanding relations linking the two countries and highlighting the importance of official exchange visits to further reinforce areas of cooperation. The UK-Bahrain relationship is special in so many different ways, but the one thing you can't help but notice as you come to this place as an ambassador, but also as you go around London before coming here and meeting people, is how there's just a plethora of incredibly strong relationships between people that form the bedrock of it. And that's uh, nowhere more true than between our two royal families. Um, and the uh, strength of affection between them is, is quite something. Uh, and genuine affection as well. This isn't uh, uh, relationships of necessity or even of protocol. Uh, these are human beings who really hit it off. Um, and so it's with that that it's just fabulous to see the Duke of Edinburgh here in Bahrain. Um, not for the first time, he's been here before. Um, but he too is very involved in the UK-Bahrain relationship. He's the president of the Windsor Horse Show and King Hamad is a keen supporter of the Windsor Horse Show, for example. 
Um, and this uh, is a long-standing relationship, of course, uh, built over hundreds of years. But every one of these visits just helps to keep that uh, journey going. Um, and so uh, I'm delighted he's here and we look forward to seeing as many members of the royal family who uh, want to come here. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa offered his condolences to the family of fallen servicemen, First Warrant Officer Adam Salim Nasib from the BDF who passed away following injuries that he sustained during his honourable and loyal participation in Operation Restoring Hope as part of the Saudi-led Arab coalition forces at the southern border of Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness offered his condolences to the family and relatives of the fallen servicemen and expressed pride in the honorable sacrifices of the fallen servicemen, which will be etched forever in the kingdom's history. His Royal Highness emphasized that the BDF officer continued to be a source of pride and inspiration through their sacrifices, a courage and commitment to achieving justice. For their part, a first warrant officer Adam's family expressed gratitude for His Royal Highness's condolences and pride in first warrant officer Adam's sacrifices while fulfilling his national duty. His Royal Highness was accompanied by the chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a telephone call from the U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd J. Austin III. The U.S. Secretary of Defense extended his heartfelt condolences to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, and to His Royal Highness. For the fallen servicemen of the BDF who were honorably and loyally performing their national duties in Operation Restoring Hope as part of the Arab coalition forces led by the armed forces of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia stationed at the southern border of Saudi Arabia. He also wished the injured a speedy recovery. His Royal Highness and Austin further reviewed the Bahrain-U.S. strategic partnerships and the importance of further strengthening relations to achieve joint aspirations. The National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander. The National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander, Lieutenant General, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, um, the, and His Highness uh, Colonel Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Diyan bin Sagr al Naimi, were at the forefront of mourners to perform the funeral prayer for a martyr, first warrant officer. Adam Salim Nasib from the BDF in Budaya, who was serving as part of the forces of the coalition to support legitimacy in Yemen, participating in Operation Restoring Hope stationed in the southern border of Saudi Arabia. The National Security Advisor, the Commander of the Royal Guard Special Forces, the Chief of Staff and the mourners recited the martyrs' prayers. They conveyed the condolences of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the family of the martyr and their wishes of a speedy recovery for the injured. They also offered their condolences to the martyr's family and prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace and wish the injured a speedy recovery. Allah. 
The funeral was attended by a number of BDF senior officers, a number of officials and the family and relatives of the martyr and a large crowd of citizens. The body of the martyr of the national duty, Warrant Officer Adam Salim Nasib, arrived at Isa Air Base on board a Royal Air Force military plane, where the body of the fallen serviceman was received by BDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diyan bin Sagr Naimi. A special military ceremony was held in the presence of BDF senior officers and a number of the martyr's family and relatives. The BDF chief of staff conveyed the condolences and sympathy of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, and to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Commander in Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. To the family and relatives of the mortar of national duty and their wishes for a speedy recovery for the wounded and injured. The BDF chief of staff also extended his sincere condolences and sympathy to the families and relatives of the martyrs of national duty, wishing a speedy recovery for the wounded and injured. The Libyan Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation also condemned the treacherous hostile attack on the Bahrain Defense Force members stationed on the southern border of Saudi Arabia participating in Operation Decisive Storm and Restoring Hope. In a statement, the Libyan Ministry of Foreign Affairs considered the attack a dangerous development that may undermine peace efforts and threaten settlement efforts in Yemen, expressing sincere condolences to the Kingdom of Bahrain and to the families of the victims and wishes of recovery for the wounded. Japan condemned a Monday's attack on Bahrain Defense Force soldiers in southern Saudi Arabia that left two military personnel dead and several others wounded. A third Bahraini serviceman has since reportedly died from injuries sustained in the assault, which is being blamed on the Iran-backed Houthis. In a statement, the Japanese foreign ministry condemned the attack and expresses its concern that it could run a counter to the ongoing efforts of the political dialogue in Yemen to bring about a permanent peace for the current de facto ceasefire. The ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the victims and their bereaved families and prayer for the early recovery of the injured. The statement added that Tokyo was dedicated to helping with the peace process in the region. The Arab Parliamentary Union issued a statement denouncing the treacherous attack on Bahraini duty forces on the southern border of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, which resulted in the martyrdom of a number of BDF soldiers and the injury of others. The union expressed its solidarity with the Kingdom of Bahrain in all its notable endeavors and efforts. The union extended its sincere condolences and sympathy to the leadership, government and people of Bahrain, as well as the families of the heroic martyrs, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest their souls in peace and to grant their families with patience and solace and to grant a speedy recovery to the wounded.
The Saudi Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Highness Prince Faisal bin Farhan Al Saud, and his accompanying delegation arrived in Bahrain, where he was received by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif Al Zayani, the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Consular and Administrative Affairs, Dr. Mohammed Bahzad, the Charge of Affairs of the Saudi Embassy, Salah Al Atibi, and other senior officials from the ministry. The Minister of Information, Dr. Ramzan bin Abdullah Naimi, participated in the 21st session of the Arab Media Forum, which was held in Dubai under the patronage of UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, in the presence of Second Deputy Ruler of Dubai and Chairman of the Dubai Media Council, His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, with the participation of more than 3,000 officials. The minister spoke in a dialogue session in which he stressed the media sector requires the existence of a reference authorized to issue decisions that regulate the sector in a way that serves the sector itself and increases the efficiency of its productivity and outputs. He stressed that the Arab countries today, in light of the multiplicity of non-traditional media tools, are engaged in a direct confrontation with extremism and hate speech, recalling in this context the heroic martyr of duty who sacrificed their honorable lives in redemption for the national duty and the duty of force of the BDF within the Arab coalition forces. The minister also touched on the importance of the role of Arab media in supporting the efforts of Arab countries to achieve stability and development. He pointed out that the Arab media today has all the capabilities and cadres capable of keeping pace with the various current transformation regionally and internationally. He stressed that there is now a new responsibility with the importance of making an effort to ensure the artificial intelligence technologies reflect the authentic values, traditions and heritage of Arab societies to further generations, in addition to introducing the civilization of Arab countries. <laughs>